today uh, i'll tell about charging infrastructure for electric vehicles uh, some of the guidelines and standards given by government of india so let us see first objectives there are main five objectives for uh, the guidelines to uh, issue and that is to enable faster adoption of electric vehicles to promote affordable tariff uh, for charging to generate and to create employment as well as uh, entrepreneurships to create charging infrastructure and market for evs to prepare for distribution system for charging stations so based on this objectives uh, pcs uh, is basically you know uh, public charging stations which uh, is actually not involved in generation transmission and distribution so for that it is de licensed activity but still as a service uh, they are bound to follow the rules and regulations and guidelines structured uh, in october 2019 as well as from time to time the rules and regulation published by cea and ministry of power government of india well any persons uh, who is willing to uh, have charging station may apply for connectivity and he will be given uh, uh, you know the connection by discoms on priority basis and uh, there is a freedom for choosing the generation company for electricity okay and uh, evac is the element in ev infrastructure that supplies electrical energy from uh, uh, you know uh, from uh, point to ev that means for recharging the electric vehicle so all the elements or equipment which are connected that is evse well uh, some public charging infrastructure requirements has been declared uh in that you will be able to have that means pcs should have uh, the separate transformer and uh, for and for that that should be substation which should include all the safety and protection equipments 33 or 11 kv cables if anything is there as per the guidelines and there should be the protection system for termination of the supply in case of any fault sufficient space of ev entry and exit is uh, must and that should be civil construction code to be followed appropriate electrical works ensuring safety and protection is to be provided well this is the table for different fast and char uh, slow charging stations this is uh, i think i had already covered in a video called charging stations so you may refer here cg is connector gun Uh, well charging station can be for two wheeler and three wheeler that will be free to install the charger other than above specified but as per safety standards laid down by CEA the PCS uh, will have you know necessarily tie up with uh, net service providers to enable advanced remote control of uh, the charging station as well as online booking for the charging slots okay and and the data sharing of charging station should be uh, with discom and that should be in agreement that whenever a ca or any agency like uh, cna and sna will ask for data it should be provided from time to time okay and evsc must be tested as per uh, the agencies called nabl accredited laboratories time to time as per the guidelines and pcs can be installed at any place but the agreement must be there with uh, you know in written permission from the owner of the premises and that visitor vehicle should be allowed inside the premises for charging and those premises are nothing but housing societies malls complexes and hotels the pcs requirements uh, have some exemptions also in case if it is a private charging point that is individual user or maybe you know non commercial purpose if the company owned charging infrastructure is there there is exemption given even for nsp types also 
well for heavy duty electric vehicle uh, there must be at least two chargers for minimum 100 kilowatt and each with different specification with single connector gun okay and that is 200 to 750 volt or higher voltage supply well appropriate liquid cool cable for high speed charging facilities should be there and in case if it is a company based charging station for EVs uh, the specification can be decided by the companies themselves but that is for in-house electric vehicles only and they will not allow the visitors vehicle well and there are also rules and regulations for location of uh, uh, public charging stations a grid of 9 square kilometer must have at least one PCS and that is the target every 25 kilometers on highways and roads there should be uh, one public charging station on either side okay and fast charging station at least uh, should have at least at 100 kilometer inside city if you want to install PCS that then you must have uh, transport depots or nagar palikas or the space provided by the corporations only you can add pcs and fcs to the installed locations well other requirements are uh, this is very helpful for you know planning the energy networks for the discoms as well as the electricity suppliers and the architect of the city can plan accordingly it must be done all, uh, all everywhere, that is, whether the state is going to give subsidies or not. Well, the priorities of state governments can be uh, for retail outlets, for uh, oil distributors and oil companies, but they have to follow the safety norms. Other uh, regulation includes, you know, the central nodal agency that is uh, already declared, Bureau of Energy Efficiency who is responsible for rolling out of EVs and public charging infrastructures. The state can decide uh, state nodal agencies, which is already there. Uh, I'm going to take a look at that. Uh, well, uh, tariff service charges can be decided by State Electricity Regulatory Commission. Right? Okay. Yeah, that is uh, in case of Gujarat, that is Gujarat State Electricity Regulatory Commission. Fine and uh, in reference and they have to frame the tariff based on indian electricity act well pci is uh, uh, to be in the market with two different phases that is phase one uh, which will work for one to three years and phase two that is for three to five years this is uh, state nodal agencies already 26 states had uh, declared the state nodal agencies for electric vehicle rollout and charging infrastructures in case of any queries you may contact me for your suggestions comment please contact on mail or either drop comment into the description thank you